Hi there guys, it's Chris here with selfmenubee.com and welcome to this Block Survey review. Now here I am on the front page of Block Survey. It says looking for a secure way to collect data. Block Survey is a privacy first platform. No ads, no trackers. Protect your responders' data and privacy. The only survey tool that keeps your data safe. Today we're gonna jump into it. We're gonna take a deep dive into Block Survey. So before we do, drop a like. Hit subscribe and turn on that bell if you wanna be updated with new videos coming out like this all the time. Also, if at any moment you wanna just click off this video, do first go to the link in the description so you can check out Block Survey on your own absolutely free. So Block Survey is essentially going to help you to create surveys or feedback forms in a whole different range of contexts and industries. Um, and today we're gonna just jump into it and show you exactly what it is. So first off, click the link in the description. It will bring you through to the Block Survey uh, website. And what you're gonna do is sign up and you can sign up for free and go through that you know, process of signing up with your email and whatnot. So on the dashboard, this is what you can expect. Uh, so you can you have your items, you have your templates. Uh, my templates are ones that you create, a brand kit, trash, and settings. So we're just gonna get straight into creating a survey. So let's go to create from scratch. And it comes up here. For those of you who've used Typeform or something like that, uh, you may see some familiarities here, but I, I feel Block Survey just has a lot more to offer. Um, so what you would do is you have your blocks down the side here. So you have your title, and a private title. You have your welcome screen. So what do you want that to kind of look like? And over on the right here, you can see this kind of a preview, okay? And you can also view your logic map. So I'm gonna put that in the center. I'm not gonna show a timer. And then you would come down and basically add your questions, okay? What did you like about the product? Okay, you can add your options. Okay, so that would be my first question. You can say, is it required? You can add another option there, um, other. Um, shuffle your options, don't shuffle the last option, hide the question number, so a bunch of different settings you can do there. You can also select the different kind of questions, so I've got a Boolean question, we also have agree, disagree, always, never, improve, disapprove, like, unlike, okay? So I'm gonna add that. So then you can add, you know, your questions, that's question one, question two, and then you have your submit screen. Okay, so you can add a parent redirect, receive confirmation, that will take you through to another page. You can enter what page you want them to go through to after they've kind of confirmed. So whether you want that to be, I don't know, like a sign up form or a thank you page. Um, we can also hide the submit screen as well. And you can see that change in real time. And then we have a thank you page here if you wanna use it. You can add a call to action. You can add, you can change the screen layout. And again, your submit link. What's gonna happen when they click that button? So there it is down there. So for me, I'd probably put a back button or you know, a button that goes through to signing up to something. You know, it's really up to you. You can also create different thank you screens based on answers, which is pretty cool. And that's really the gist of it uh, as far as adding questions. Now on the very far left here, uh, you can you have language options. We also have different themes. So you can apply different themes or whatnot. So let's maybe go with, I don't know, this purpley one. There we go. And also your text as well. So we can change, you know, different fonts. Let's apply that. Different variables, notifications, um, configure your email and whatnot, and then we can export this as a JSON or as a PDF, okay? So let's go back. That's your basic, you know, create a survey setup. Now, if you thought that was cool, you really ain't seen nothing yet. So create from template. So the template library here is just massive, okay? And, you know, this is gonna save you a lot of time and they really have forms for just about everything, you know, from, you know, employee experience to gun violence surveys to political forms. All right, so I'm gonna go to maybe a satisfaction survey. And even under each category, there's just tons of different templates you can choose from. So let's go to e-learning, since I do actually have a e-learning or info product. And here are the questions already set up. How satisfied were you with the e-learning content? 
you know, you have these five questions already set up for you. So if I want to use that template, I'm taken back to basically the same screen that we saw before, so I can completely edit all of this. So my program is Silver Spoon. So, you know, I think for me personally, starting off with a template is just gonna save you a lot of time. Now, you may have noticed the third way to create um, a form or a feedback form or a survey, and that's using AI. Now this is really cool, it kind of reminds me of the AI uh, content creation tool Jasper. I'm not sure if it's integrated, it might, be some, it might be their own thing, something completely different, I'm not sure. So we're going to create a server using AI, so I want to, again I want to ask about the customer experience for my product, okay? So my product is Silver Spoon, feedback, and then I tell the AI what I want it to do. For example, give me a feedback form for my customer whose last purchase was 30 days ago. So you're basically just giving the AI instructions as if you were telling your assistant to do something, okay? So I'm gonna say, give me a feedback form for my Silver Spoon product. Let's see what happens. Here we go. How would you rate the product experience? What is the main reason for the above answer? Is this feedback something that others in your stage would also share? Overall satisfaction. So I'm gonna go with this top one. I think that's a fairly standard question. And when I add that, you'll see that other questions start to come up. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna get, you know, maybe I wanna get more feedback. So I'm gonna hit that one. And then it's going to come up with you know different questions that you can you can uh, you can add. So the AI has come up with some pretty similar questions. So I'm going to delete Silver Spoon there and just generate more questions. Um, why did you buy it? How was the experience? What was the purchase price? Um, what did you not like about the product? What would you like to add? Okay, so these are better questions. Um, maybe it didn't understand Silver Spoon since I've, I've spelled it in kind of a funny way. So you can also hit make more here. It will give you more questions. So there's just tons of questions that it's added. Um, so I'm just gonna create, I mean, that's enough there. And it's added all these questions, okay? And again, like the standard template, we can easily delete these. So delete that and also come through and just edit them really easily. Um, change the question type, and these are all your question types here. Long text, short text, choices, multiple choice, you know, and then you add the choices. Um, what else have we got down here? Scales, so you can do a rating, a ranking, an opinion scale. Um, so that's where they, you know, an, a one to five kind of thing. And just really as many types, different types of questions uh, you can really think of. Now at the top here, you can also share this. So select your custom domain and this is the web URL to share. So if I hit that, paste that in there, my survey is gonna come up there. So really easy to send out to people. Um, you can also compose an email and send it out that way. And you know, just so much um, you're able to customize. Your integrations are here. So we can embed it, we can create wid widgets and webhooks, all your code is down here. So if you wanna add it directly into your site. And then you have your responses here. So all responses, and then you can analyze your data there. There's also analytics for doing that as well, okay? So detailed reports, you can filter it by date compare, all that kind of stuff. Now the brand kit is really cool. So if you are a brand with your own colors, with your own logo, you can just add all that in here. So your images, what fonts do your brand users, what theme, colors, and things like that, any CSS properties, you can add all that in as well. And also extra settings like managing your team, adding a custom domain, AI configuration, email configuration, payment configuration, uh, it seems like they use Stripe, which is great because I'm not a fan of PayPal. And also your messages as well. 
So to be honest, this is really the best uh, survey platform I've seen. I've only ever used Typeform before and for me Typeform is extremely basic. This has just a lot more to offer, especially just looking back here at all of these templates that you can use. I just feel like it was so easy to use this platform. You know, it's like so intuitive and there's just so many options and you can tell just a lot has been put into this. Uh, I also like the fact that it's a DAP as well, which is great. So that's a quick review there guys of Block Survey. If you want to send surveys out to your audience, if you want to get feedback from your audience on products or whatever, this is definitely my number one recommendation. And you know, the best part is if you click that link in the description, you can sign up now for absolutely free and check out all this on your own, okay? So if you found value in this video guys, drop a like, subscribe, questions down below, and I'll see you next time. Take care.